Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Facts. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hey Aaron, this is Jarrett. Uh, I've been an English teacher now for a couple years, and um... I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, became a fan back when I was 12 and saw the movies for the first time. Uh, recently we had May the 4th Be With You or Star Wars Day, so I was wondering, what facts can you tell me about Star Wars? Thank you, Jarrett. Star Wars, an epic space opera, written and directed by George Lucas, premiered in 1977 and became an almost instant classic, even today. 43 years later, Star Wars remain one of the most financially successful films of all time. And today, we're going to discover 10 behind the scenes Star Wars facts. Fact number one. Did you know that there is a Star Wars day? The date was chosen for a pun on the catchphrase, May the Force be with you, as May the Fourth be with you. Even though the holiday was not created or declared by Lucasfilm, many Star Wars fans across the world has chosen to celebrate the holiday. It has since been embraced by Lucasfilm and parent company Disney as an annual celebration of Star Wars. Fact number two, R2-D2 once spoke English. The R2-D2 we all know and love from the Star Wars movies speaks only in beeps and whistles. A robot language that most of his friends can understand. But in the original draft of Star Wars, written in 1974, R2-D2 spoke in complete sentences in English. Even more alarming, he was not the lovable goof he would later become. He was actually kind of a bully. Fact number three, Yoda was almost a monkey? Long before Yoda was created, the plan was to dress up a real monkey in a Yoda costume and mask. Luckily, a crew member pointed out that the apes used in the movie opening were a huge headache, which was enough to convince Empire's filmmakers fire their Yoda monkey. Fact number four, the first Star Wars almost caused an actual war. To create the barren desert planet, Lucas found the perfect setting in Tunisia. What he didn't expect was how even a little movie production would lead to socio-political tensions. Tunisia shares a border with Libya. The government receives threats from Gaddafi, a ruthless dictator of Libya, warning that a conflict was inevitable if they didn't remove a military vehicle from the Libyan border. The military vehicle in question was actually a Jawa sandcrawler. Lucas agreed to move the prop because, well, inciting an international war isn't a great way to publicize a movie. Fact number five, Chewbacca has to be protected from bear hunters. Filming in the Redwood Forest of Northern California to create the forest moon of Andor for Return of the Jedi must have been a cakewalk, except for actor Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca. During the several months shoot, he had to be constantly chaperoned by bodyguards in bright vests to protect him from hunters. That's because in costume, he could have been easily mistaken for a bear. But more hilariously, the bodyguard had to protect the actor from people searching the forest for Bigfoot. Yes, that Bigfoot. The mythical ape-like creature that's rumored to be hiding somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Fact number six, nobody says the word Ewok at any point in Return of the Jedi. Go rewatch the movie if you don't believe me. Not one in the entirety of Return of the Jedi does anybody say Ewok. The name is used in the script, a stage direction reads, a strange little furry face with huge black eyes comes slowly into view. The creature is an Ewok by the name of Wicked, but that's it. But how did we all walk out of the theaters knowing that those creatures were called Ewoks? Fact number seven, 
The porg only exists to cover up scenes. All of those adorable porgs that annoy poor Chewbacca in The Last Jedi weren't originally part of the script. There were a last minute addition by the director when he learned that the shooting location on the Irish island is filled with hundreds of very friendly and not at all camera shy puffins. So the crew decided to find a positive solution for what could have been a costly problem. Simply because they physically can't get rid of the puffin and digitally removing them is an issue and a lot of work so they just roll with it and created their own indigenous species fact number eight some of the most futuristic props in the star wars movies was created with very unusual materials like luke skywalker's lightsaber which was really just a handle of a vantage camera flash or the medical droid's mouthpiece in empire strikes back which was just an old school microphone but our favorite bit of prop is in the fandom menace you may not have looked twice at the communicators used by Keegan Chain and Obi-Wan Kenobi but if you did you might have noticed that they're shaped exactly like a gillet razor that's because they are not literally of course they were created from the resin cast a gillet lead ace razor fact number nine Boba Fett's face was reviewed in Empire Strikes Back pretty much every kid who saw Empires in the theaters had the same thought I wonder what Boba Fett was Looks like under that mask. Well, not to blow your minds, but his real mug is in the movie. He was right there in clear sight without the mask, and nobody realized. As Jeremy Bullock, who plays Bodafek, was asked during the filming if he would mind playing this Imperial officer because there were nobody to play the part. It's a character that didn't even have a name yet. His scene was in Cloud City, where Princess Leia says, Luke, it's a trap. One thing, and we got a glimpse both of Boba with the mask and without it, and we didn't even realize. Fact number 10 there's a small South Pacific island that accepts Star Wars coins as legal tender. The small Polynesian island of New, a thousand five hundred miles off the coast of New Zealand, might not be a galaxy far, far away, but according to the Los Angeles Times, it's the only place on this planet where you can pay for goods and services using collectible coins featuring Luke Skywalker, C-3PO, and other Star Wars characters. The coins they accept, however, are not just any Star Wars coin. They have to come from the New Zealand mint, and they all include a portrait of Elizabeth Elizabeth II. On the flip side, also each coin is sold around $20, but they only have a face value of 80 cents. So if you actually use Star Wars coins to buy anything, that's probably not the best deal you could get. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below of what's your favorite Star Wars characters. Alright, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace.